What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on Black Clover. And in this one, I gotta say, firstly, we actually see the whole scene play out where we see Kwabe being betrayed and it is really just kind of messed up. Firstly, for the girl, Siona, I believe her name was, she was injured because of, you know, the whole incident with the Magic Knights. And so they treat her by giving her poison and we see her just choking out basically croaking right there and there and i was like damn you're just really gonna do that huh and the other muscular dude and kwabe drinking the water and he croaks first and kwabe is just kind of like i guess his heart's starting to slow down or he's starting to feel a lot of pain and he's trying to figure out as to why they did this which was really messed up and we have him being stabbed later which makes it even worse accelerating the whole dying process and we hear like Dazu explaining how they're actually wanting the power of the devil that they want to have magic of their own and that how they had never been able to really use magic she even goes on this whole spiel about how when she was younger you know she was made fun of for not having as much magic and honestly, it, it's just kind of really uh, messed up because of her situation. And uh, she wants revenge, I guess you could say. She wants to have magic. And I mean, I mean, it's, the thing is, they see Asta, who has no magic, but he's able to do all these things. And I guess what what they, the way they see Asta is so wrong because they believe that he's using the power of the devil to continue on doing all these things when in reality that's not even how it is and we get to hear see like asta's reaction about how people think about him later on in this episode but like everyone is just like leaves there there and guabe actually is giving the last bit of information that he can about the devil believers and honestly i hated that their masks were worn the other way like that was kind of dumb. I actually prefer the horn sticking out the other way because it looked better. But hey, it is what it is. But, but everyone finds out, and we hear, um, I guess Julius giving them, uh, giving the Black Bulls the order to go and investigate and save Neto. They go back to the town where the last transmission was sent from Kwabe, and they see his dead body. Unfortunately, they gather some information, which was kind of funny how like Gordon actually made friends with the older lady and she became a big fan of gosh, honestly, that was kind of hilarious. But she actually gives information about Bo and Dazu, how like Bo is the person that lived out in the woods out there, that she was a doctor, or I guess you could say she practiced medicine and Dazu who lived happily accordingly to her with her husband and mother-in-law and things are starting to kind of piece together you know we get to see like something is really off you know they we see like a wedding picture of dazu who isn't even smiling and i guess we see that that uh, even she was miserable with her husband and we didn't even get to see much of him so that probably be dived in later on but we see like both uh, Magna, Asta, and uh, Noel, we see how they're trying to get intel. Everyone's getting intel from r surrounding towns and different places because they they know that these guys are on the move and that their plan is most likely to, to offer up Nero and use the Grimoire for the Spade Kingdom and seeing if they can get that power, which honestly is a heck of a plan. It really is. It's just, you know, you're, you're going to a group of people that you don't even know. And not only that, but we see a, a huge, huge following. Like, towns have been leaving just to follow these guys. And obviously, yes, these are the forsaken regions, uh, realms, excuse me, where people are, aren't really helped out by any magical knight. So, of course, they're going to cling on to something like this. And Asa sees this firsthand where we got to see like this kid who wants to cure his leg he pushes his mother even be like no they, they, I, my leg can be cured with the power of the devil if asta could do it then you know someone like me can do it as well and asta feels guilty and i understand it i truly understand why he would feel this way uh but it, it's it's not the way they think it is it, it's really not and i hope that asta can prove this later on when he 
stops these guys because honestly this arc has gotten interesting but it's starting to drag out a little more than it should i mean it is building up to where like we're finally gonna see you know maybe even the spade kingdom wipe these guys out i don't know i'm really not sure how it's gonna end but it's getting there and it's honestly been fun and interesting to watch but like at the end we get to see like the big mob of people following the devil believers so uh and asta magna and uh, Noel are the ones to find them so we'll see them probably confronting them there let's see what happens but overall a good episode but guys let me know what you guys think as always though stay safe take care of yourselves and others subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you haven't already and i will catch you later